back again. I thought I'd have a go at uh, a line of wash, I hadn't done one for a couple of months. So I'll uh, give this uh, bottle of, this is Stephen's Black Drawing in ink, Indian ink, shape gently, fade resistant. It might be solid in here, and I might have to use some force on this if it's coming off. I've just got a little, little pot here. I'm going to use a rigger, that's well, a number two or one or whatever. Just pour a bit into my little cup here. Just a touch. You can use uh, black acrylic paint diluted. So here's my pen. I, I, I'm going to, I'm not sure what the background's going to be, but I, I want it quite low down. So I'll do well let's just let's just have some fun with it and just see where where we go. So let's just By the time you put your your colour on the the um the depending on how how heavy you put you go with the paint and how dark it tends to to calm the, the contrast between the black and the white down. So just, just these trees coming down this uh, slope here. But these are good good fun to do. But the brushes, uh, or if, if you use a stick, which I'd like to use as well. But they you can get this hard, clump of base which I didn't intend but we have to work with what we've got oh just we can turn this into a bush and What's so attractive about these is the contrast between the black and the white. Oh, okay, that'll, that'll do this. Try and get a pleasant shape for it. But it saves a lot of rigour work at the end, putting in branches, trunks and stuff. I'll dry this all off thoroughly before I finish. Okay. Like a forest. And some branches coming down. They don't all go up. Some Okay, so that so that's that bit there. So we oh dear, that's happened there, isn't it? I would just put, turn that into a bush. Could be creative with our with our mistakes. Go all the way down there. Yeah, right, see Bally. Just some clumps of grass and a bit of foliage just coming down into this. Going over the hill there. 
a bit like me really. So just I know it's very easy to get carried away with all this. I don't want to turn this one into a snow scene. Let's go that. We don't want all this too regular. Let's go like that. So let's just ooh. This is the danger. Oh, we'll just uh, turn that into turn that to our advantage. So we just feather it out a little bit. Okay, so that's that's more or less one side. And we'll do do another subordinate side. And I'll leave this area a bit un, unblacked so I can put a, put a figure or two in there. You see, they are all done before, but each one is different. I'm not copying, I'm just making it up as I go along using my memory bank for what it's worth. Be surprised no, I haven't really got a great imagination. So that's a bit of distance, so we can we'll put a larger tree in here. Get a thicker, thicker trunk there. Put some ivy in this. Remember, your branches get thin as they go to the end. Bit of fine stuff there. Lose the base of this tree, put in some some ivy. Okay, it's just that that'll do. Do a ruin it. Okay, so we can put in uh, a fence in? No, let's uh, not put a fence in. Give your brushes a very good clean because if this dries you've lost your brush. And that is a nice little brush from my Fiddles of Flex. Uh, I think I'll sit that ink back in there that I have used. All cost money. So, I'll give this a dry now, and so take your headphones off. Right. 
you'll be surprised the surface dries but it leaves the ink underneath a bit soft so um, just hope that's okay right okay I've got my palette I'll take it out of its little plastic envelope this freezer bag keeps it safe thanks Maria for this tip good luck tips from Maria I want to use quite a bit of burnt sienna in this one but I want the nice background but no ink in, in that I'm looking for my cup of tea but I forgot to bring one up right I'll I've done the whole water trick with the brushes with the hakes to see if they stay more well behaved and not split but they, they're splitting so they didn't work but a good idea it's worth a try so that ink is pretty dry but you do have to make sure that it is bone bone dry look at that it's not quite dry look it picks up a little bit underneath there Right, so we'll get nice burnt sienna in that sky, I think. Palette is lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber and paints grey. Plus this lovely, lovely bit of red in there, I think. So I'll open the whole lot. So now, let's try paints grey and uh, and alizarin here, see what happens. Nice, nice dark across here. Okay, a bit of blue and red. Nice stormy look to this sky. I like dramatic. Right, okay, so we've got, we've got some sort of sky there. It will dry lighter. I'll put my cloth back. Now, while that is drying off, I'll re-clip it because I want the background not to disappear into the sky. So headphones off. Right, okay. So we'll put in a bit of blue in the back. Bit of bit of palette grey. And then a bit of warm. Various various colours in there. Nice lot of rich colours in the, in here. Right, okay, now already you can see that the uh, blue, the, 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 the black has uh, moderated. So let's just get this slightly misty in here. Oh, I'll leave that. A right, bit of sienna, a bit of grey. Warmth. Sort of wintry trees. A nice lot of colour in those trees. This is what we want, the nice I don't use a lot of burnt umber. I should. 
because it's a lovely dark rich red and we'll go in for the foreground with some shadowy darker green on that side so Payne's grey, lemon yellow That's in shadow <coughs> from this great cloud here, so we'll have some lighter colour on the other side. We've reflected, uh, well, we've reflected some shadows cast in that. Nice, warm. Put a bit of shadow now. Right, now the path here, I start with a bit of red and a bit of blue. Right, okay, so that'll do for that. Um, that's fairly dry now, we'll put some flesh on the bones on this. It's not showing there, but let's dry it off a bit and I'll uh, add to it. Oh, let's just get a bit of contrast in here. Nice bit of shadow in there. And we'll Okay, uh, I'll give that a bit of a dry. I've still got to go back over that because that needs to be much darker than that cloud. Um, right. So nice dry brush here. Burnt sienna and the paint's grey. Okay, so that just about. Mm -hmm. So but that's quite nice through there. That is nice through there, that's a bit lost against that dark cloud, but never mind. You get the idea, I hope. So some figures, um, it's going to have to, they're going to be quite dark, I'm going to use blue and red. So, uh, OK, 
overhead. A little bit of uh, detail. Just a few flicks. Signature. And right, okay. That'll do. Come over very dark. Uh, I just want to do lighter coloured mount would be a better option there. Right. Right. Okay. Should have gone further over there with, with that. So there we are. Um, just a, that's got a bit muddy there. That was because I put that low cloud a bit too too uh, dark, but. Uh, I'll just try that. Hold on a sec. Take your headphones off. Oh, I've got an idea. Oh, I'll get my other palette. Oh, this has got the white on it. And a bit of, a bit of yellow ochre. Or raw sienna, shall I say. Using this great big butcher's tray now. Now, if I soften a bit of that white, Roland Hilda used to do this. Let's get it off white, but thick, thickish. Some tiny twigs catching, catching the light in there. Not strictly watercolour now because it's got some white gouache in it, but it just it just lifted a little bit in these. This cloud, I, that was a bit of a mistake there, so. Right, so, so I can put up some of that back. Just, just catching the light, just a little bit here and there, badly. Okay, I think we just pulled that over, just, just a little bit. Right, let's uh, zoom you in. Have a, have a little look at that. Let's square up. Uh, now I don't know why. I, oops, sorry. Oh, apologies. Uh, I just think my camera might be too high. I know I should really sort this all out before, but I never. I'm a bit crowded between my chair, the easel, and my table on the right. Right, let's uh, just zoom in a bit, and show you what I did to that top of that tree. Just those few branches there, at the top, just to to lift, try to lift it away from that cloud. The tones are too close, in other words, between the top of the tree and that cloud. Let me figure. Um, that's the other side to come up there. Okay, I like quite like the background, and as you can see, the black has moderated somewhat with the darker paint. I'm painting darker than I would normally use watercolour, but I don't think that's such a bad. 
there, but I wish I'd taken the sky over. That is the problem with clips in the corners. You you tend to it tends to lift over the clip and miss the the corner there. I have to try to bear that in mind in future. Right, thanks for watching. Bye bye.